Welcome everyone, we are in all white today because of course it is the first test. That is Australia, Pakistan, in Perth, the West Test. We have the correct teams because of course they got announced yesterday before the game has got underway. So let's see how we're going to go today. Let's head to the middle for the <laughs> head to the middle for the toss on what is looking like a very fast deck. And Cummins throws the coin in the air. Pakistan have called heads. Uh, tail. Pat Cummins, what are you going to do? It's a warm day. I think we're going to bat first. Even though it's going to be a grassy pitch, there'll be something in the new ball early. Pakistan with a relatively inexperienced fast bowling unit. I think batting first, especially in these hot conditions, will be the way to go. Of course, many of these players don't have their likenesses for the Pakistan side yet. I believe they are working on them currently. Given they're in the country, they're going to be doing that now. So they'll look perfectly schmick by the time we get this game underway. Or at least get the series underway. Here's the Australian side. Oh no, here's the Pakistan side. Shaheen Shafridi will be ready with the new ball in his hand as he leads this pace attack. David Warner, Rusman Kawaja make their way to the middle for Australia. So here we go, it is Shaheen Shafridi bowling to Usman Kawaja to get us started here in Perth of the Australian Test Summer. And it's a short ball and straight away he's pulled it. Might not be a boundary, but they'll come back for at least two. Perfect start for the Australians. Runs off the opening ball. Oh, that's a nice delivery there. Top of off, it was hitting. Oh, that's cut away. I think square might be the shorter boundaries here, but they're all still fairly big. And David Warner about to face up in what has been billed as his farewell tour. Is he going to make it to Sydney? Plenty of debate about that one. How will he go today? That's a nice ball first up from a 3D5 from the first. Oh, that's a big full toss from the debutante. And Kawaja won't miss out on that. That's just maybe some nerves and inexperience. And there's Warner's first runs of the day, just working it away to the leg side for a single. Oh, this will be runs. Again, just to the onside. It's going to be all the way for four. So it just needs to settle the moment. Does Shazad. Oh, that's in the gap. That'll be four for Warner. Lovely punch through the covers. And again in the gap. Kawaja, he's just finding his rhythm at the moment at the crease. A couple more here. One thing that does concern me slightly here is... Kawaja's got the vest on. It's like 30 degrees in Perth. So I'm sure he's probably getting a bit hot. That could be all the way. It's a great shot. It is four. Oh, he's chopped it on, Warner. That's disappointing. Australia lose their first wicket. It was the change of pace of Jamal. That's able to provide the breakthrough. The farewell tour starts with a 10. It's one for 35. Edged! <laughs> Manus is out. 13 or 14 balls at the crease. Big wicket for the youngster. And a 14 ball duck for Labashane. Disappointing, just driving and a good take by the keeper. Shazad gets the wicket. It's two for 46. So the end of the first hour of play, it's two for 46, and the two wickets have come from the two debutants for Pakistan. That's pulled away. That'll be two. Smith will get off the mark to end the 16th. Two for 49. Oh, what a shot from Kawaja. Just playing it down to third man. That's the boundary. That's in the gap for Smith. Punched away to the covers for a couple more. Who's the four? It's two for 57 after 18. Oh, that's a lovely strike. And Kawaja moves to 47. Oh, that is, you just cannot bowl there to Steve Smith. Ashraf, that is a poor delivery and that's a boundary. Oh, he's chopped it on, Kawaja. 
That's so disappointing. Just one short of the 50. A little bottom edge and it's hit the off stump. He's furious with himself. He's out for 49. It's 3 for 71. Oh, he's cut that away head. That's one of his favourite scoring zones. That's a boundary. It's 3 for 76. Smith pulls that away as well. Won't reach the boundary. There is protection down there. But they'll come back for three runs. That's a lovely shot. That'll be four. Just eased the bat into it. Oh, that could be four. He's got it really fine, and it is four. It's been for the first time today. His head gets it away for a couple. Oh, that's in the gap, and this could be a boundary. Settle for three. It's the two, actually. And the 100 comes up for the Australians. Oh, there's an overthrow. They'll come back for a third. Three for 102. 100 up for the side. Be two. Oh, yep. They'll come back for two. That'll be the end of the first session. Australia three down. 104 on the board. Not a bad opening session for both sides, really. Kawaja with 49 was the top scorer of the session, and Travis Head is looking promising. 30 from 35 in with Steve Smith. Labashain and Warner missed out. And the two debutants have the wickets, Samir Jamal and Karam Shazad. It's three for 104 at the end of session one. Oh, what a shot. That'll be four. Three for 116. Oh, what a shot from Smith. Really attacking the spinner now. Oh, that's whipped. In the air and four. What a shot. That's another boundary. That's back-to-back -back fours. That's a bad delivery, that one. Too full. Smith is putting together a really good innings here. What he's done is he's allowed Head to play at that sort of runner ball rate as well. And that's, again, too straight, but uh, unlucky. To end the 36, it's 3 for 138. And Travis Head has gone a long way. That's four more. Oh, and that'll be his 50. Cuts it away. And they're coming back for two. Travis Head continues his terrific run of form. And starts off with a half century here in Perth. Oh, no way. How has that gone through the gap? Jamal with a breakthrough wicket of Steve Smith. It's just a little inside edge. He looks at his bat and says, is there a hole in that? It's four for 150. Australian Mitch Marsh comes to the middle. That's in the gap. That's a lovely shot, Mitch Marsh. A couple of attacking batsmen in at the crease. Wonder if we'll see a lot of boundaries. That's another boundary, I think, to the offside. Travis Head driving it away to end the 41st. Four for 163. Oh, gee, that is a really good delivery. It's quick. It's swinging in. Obviously going down leg. But a freeze getting some movement here. Maybe a bit of reverse swing starting to play a factor in this innings. Oof, again, Mars struggling with the pace. 4 for 164. Oh, what a shot. Backed away. And a boundary. To end the 45th, it's 4 for 170. Oh, it's in the air. It's a chance. But he's got it in the gap head. And that'll be four. That's four as well. Tell you what. Racing towards this very, very big score. Edged. Another one. Mitchell Marsh. Afridi gets the breakthrough. Another partnership comes to a close. Just trying to play the defence off the back foot and a really good catch behind the stumps. By Safraz. It's five for 191. That's four. Travis Head. He's not slowing down at all. 
Oh, that's a great shot. From Alex Carey, I don't think we need to bother running. That's going to be four. Oh, yes. That'll be another four. He's into the 90s, Trav Head. Can he get there before the tee break? He's got nine overs to do it, but he's going to run a ball at the moment. He is well and truly on the way. That's back past the bowler. Is that going to be four again? I think it might get there. It does. Short. Pulled. And four. He's under 99. And there it is for Travis Heads. Another boundary. That's four in a row. And he brings up the 100 in 103 balls. Oh, my God. He was absolutely slashing the air with authority there. 103 from 94. What an innings this has been when Australia needed someone to step up and get them out of what was a minor bit of trouble that they found themselves in. And now what can he and Alex Carey do to keep building this first inning score in Perth? There's another one. That's that's four more. That's 21 from the over. Crazy big. And there is the Trav Head 100. Mostly a square on the onside. A few boundaries down the ground and to the offside as well. Oh, he's bowled him. Have a look at that. The swing and the slowness. It's just gone through the gap, and I think we've seen a few wickets like this today. Travis Head, again, looking at his bat going, what's going on there? He's out for 104. It's six for 226. Edged and out. Shaheen gets stuck. It's just speed. Fired in at the stumps. Little outside edge. And he's pumped. Australia goes seven down here. And they might be rolled by T. So Pat Cummins comes in, three overs until that tee break. How will he go here facing the pace of a Freedy who's got his tail up? Oh, bowled him! Look at this! This is, this is promising, I think, for the Aussie quicks because that ball swung a long way in. It's hit the top of off. Cummins is out for a duck. It's eight for 233, but I tell you what, it does give us... A little bit of an insight as to what we're going to be able to do with the ball later on. And I think that certainly gives us a bit of hope. But gee, they are bowling well, the Pakistani quicks at the moment. Oh, you would not read about it. Gary's going to wander off. It's the slowest bouncer. I thought I got onto it. It's hit the glove and it's gone onto the stumps. I've got out like that a few times today. It's nine for two, three, four. Josh Hazelwood comes in with Nathan Lyon. Jamal on debut, four for 30, has a chance of a five wicket haul. So after T. Lyon, I don't think he's going to muck about here. I think this is going to be play some shots, see what you can do. And then uh, in the heat, hopefully the Pakistanis have been a little bit rattled. But uh, can they get these score up to above 250? Perhaps. That looks good. That's another boundary, I think, for Lyon. Couple in a row. That's in the air and should be out. It is out. Australia all out for 242. In the first over after the tea break, Afridi ends with four wickets. We're going to take a look at the batting scorecard now. So Australia's first innings all out for 242. Afridi doing the damage at the back end. Jamal and Shazar, the debutants. Doing the damage up the top. Just the three wicket takers. No wickets to spin. As we probably expected. It has been a very pace friendly pitch. Australia losing their last five wickets for just 16 runs. With Travis Head your top scorer there. 104 from 97. And Usman Kawaja just one short of the 50. A couple of four wicket holes as well. But when we come back it will be Australia bowling to Pakistan to kick off their innings. So to begin the second innings, it's going to be Mitchell Stark to Imam al Haq. Oh, and he's gone down the leg side a little bit early. But some swing available. Again, I'm just earing a little bit too leg-sided. Maybe not as much swing as I'm hoping for. 
Certainly the Pakistan side had it moving around quite a long way. The Australians yet to see any of that. And there's the first runs for Pakistan. Abdullah Shafiq straight away gets himself off the mark with a couple. Pakistan had a lot of success with the angle back into the stumps. I wonder if that's what I'll try. Anyway, two from the second. I feel like it's a trend just throughout this whole game that none of the, the edges seem to carry through to the keeper. There's another one, and that one still doesn't carry. We moved everyone up. And this time he gets it away through the onside for a couple more runs. Edged! Four! So we're getting chances now. We're creating opportunities. Edged! Gone! There's the first wicket. Abdullah Shafiq. He was playing a little bit more attacking to Mitchell Stark. And this one just shaping back in, grabbing the inside edge. And Alex Carey with a nice catch to his left. So there's the first wicket down for Pakistan. It's one for 13. And it brings the captain, Shan Masood, to the middle off a double ton in the PM's 11 game. How will he go today against his prime Australian attack on a much quicker wicket? Edged! And that hasn't carried either. Oh, he's played that nicely. There is a gap there on the offside. Lion out there in the deep fielding this one. Oh, it was up in the air and it's over the top. It does get over cover. It's going to be four. In the gap. And away. And Lion's quick, but he won't chase it down a boundary. Got that fine. That'll go all the way. A boundary. Perth local Mitch Marsh into the attack. Edged! Did it carry? No, I think Kawaja's reaction tells you it didn't. Gee, what a start that would have been to his spell. Move the slips up a fraction. And that's fine as well. I think that's going to be another boundary. I don't think Carey will be able to stop it. They've settled quite well here, Pakistan. One for 44 off 14 overs. These two look relatively set at the crease. Got. That'll be all the way, I think, for Shan Masood to find another four. Edged! Does it get there? Perhaps not. Whipped across to the onside. There is protection down there, so they'll keep it to just the two. And with around about 10 overs left in the day, they would love to go in at stumps one down. There's more runs. Two more. Oh, what a delivery that is. And he's arguably been Australia's most dangerous bowler this morning, Mitchell Marsh. That's going to go away, and I reckon that'll go just for the one. Australia turned their spinner. Nathan Lyon for his first game back since the Lord's Ashes Test. A wicket where we haven't seen Spin take any wickets in the first innings. What can Lyon provide here in the second? Already, they're going to look to attack him to the boundary. Edged! Oh, it's gone through him. We had a first slip, maybe. One for 65. Edge, there it is! Lion with the breakthrough wicket for Australia. And he sends Imam Al Haq on his way with a little edge and a great take by Alex Carey. He's out for 37. It's two for 67. And of course, the, the danger man as well, Baba Azam, joins Shan Masood at the crease. This is the partnership that Australia would desperately love to break before stumps. Oh, Manus. Edge! Oh, I think it bounced again. I think Shah Masood's got away with another one. Yeah. And runs. Baba Razam off the mark with a boundary through the covers. So Australia bringing Mitchell Stark back into the attack to finish off the day. Oh, bang. What a shot. No run. That's a great shot. Mitchell Stark back onto the attack to finish off the day for Australia and Pakistan. And their captain, Shan Masood, looking to play him aggressively. Edged! Is that out? Oh, I think it's a bump ball. 
Well played. And that will be another boundary. Stark is really firing up at the moment. Looking for a wicket in what's probably his last over of the day. It's just going to be the one. They'll come back for two. Lion field it. Probably the last over of the day, this. Lion bowling. Can he take a late wicket? Jeez, Marnus is ready for anything. Shot. Don't worry about sitting back and blocking the last over. That's a boundary. Got to force him to play here, Lion. Last ball of the day to Baba Razam. And he sees it out nicely. Pakistan at stumps. Two for 87. Trailing by 155. A day you'd probably say they won after Australia won the toss and elected to bat first. Two for 87. Lion and Stark, the wicket takers. Uh, catches through to Carey, Masood and Baba. Not out at 31 and 10 respectively. And if we recap the day's play, Australia all out for 242. Travis Head, the lone soldier at the top with 104 runs. Kawaja, one short of a 50. And Steve Smith, 33. The middle and lower orders really failed uh, to deliver. Or the lower order especially was unable to eke many runs out as Australia collapsed and lost six for about 16 runs, I think it was. Or five for 16 runs. So Pakistan, 155 behind. We'll head into day two. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you tomorrow for day two.